Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Today is Friday and it's October 12. And we are celebrating our Multicultural Month celebration with a theme Onward the Salons towards agricultural cooperatives key to feeding the world. This afternoon, before we start our geography quiz, let me call Lian Shibon for the prayer to be followed by the singing of the Pablas of Awit, Lian Adapti. Thank you. 
you need has shot of AA. From 10B, we have Carlos Season. 11C, represented by Georgia Minoso. And from grade 9B, we have Juber Pabellan. 
A. Bulacan B. Bataan C. Tarda D. Oron Go! Boards up! Can you show the judges your answers? Let's go to question number two. A lot of people keep coming in this region. It is called the land of opportunity. This is also the show window of our country. What region is this? A. Central Luzon. B. Cagayan Valley. C. Zamboanga Peninsula. B. National Capital Region. Again. Which among the provinces is referred to as the Marble Country? A. Catanduanes B. Masbato C. Marinduque D. T. Romblon The islands and provinces, excuse me, grade 4, I know that some of you know the answer also. You know the answer, but it is but proper to keep your mouth shut while we are still doing our job here. Thank you. Sources, which among the provinces is referred to as the Marble Country? A. Cataluanas B. Masbate C. Marinduque D. Romblon Go! Boards up! The answer, higher please! The answer of course is Larry B. Obviously it's Romblon, everybody got the correct answer. Okay. Four prominent Filipinos from this region are Dr. Cerizal Emilio Aguinaldo, Apolinario Mabine, Julian Felipe Miguel Malvar, Claro M. Recto, Giuseppe Laurel, and Lorenza and Marcela Agusilio. Which region is known as the cradle of national heroes? A. Imaropa. B. Calabar Zone. C. N. C. R. D. C. A. R. Again, prominent Filipinos from this region are Dr. Cerizal, Emilio Aguinaldo, Apolinario Mabine, Julian Felipe, Miguel Malvar, Claro M. Recto, Jose P. Laurel, and Lorenza and Marcela Agoncillo. Which region is known as the cradle of noble heroes? A. B. Maropa, B. Calabar Zone. C. N. C. R. Boards up, and the answer is letter B, Calabarzo. Everybody get the correct answer. Number five, there are many mountains in the Philippines from this one to Mindanao. What is the third highest mountain in the Philippines? A, Mount Pula, B, Mount Gata, C, Mount Kitanglad, D, Mount Malintang. There are many mountains in the Philippines from the Zon to Mindanao. What is the third highest mountain in the Philippines? A. Mount Pulag, B. Mount Data, C. Mount Kitanglad, D. Mount Manindan. Go! Boards 
up? The answer, of course, is letter C, Ma'am Kitanglan. Team A, wrong. Team B, may I see your board, please? Wrong. Team C, correct. Team D, wrong. E, wrong. F, wrong. So, OD Team C, got the correct answer. Six. Philippines is bounded by land and bodies of water. Philippines is at the west of which body of water? A. Pacific Ocean. B. Select C. C. West Philippine Sea. B. Bashi Channel. Philippines is bounded by land and bodies of water. Philippines is at the west of which body of water? A. Pacific Ocean. B. Select C. C. West Philippine Sea. B. Bashi Channel. Go. Pacific Ocean. Tourists like to experience surfing 
western side of the Philippines is an open sea facing the Pacific Ocean. Tourists like to experience surfing in big waves that hit shorelines. In which island would they have this great surfing experience? A. Vigoro, B. Catanguanes, C. Chargao, E. Dinaga. Okay, for the last question, for the easy round, the correct answer, of course, is letter C, Shargao, only Team C got it wrong. The rest got the correct answer. Okay, let us have the initial scoring for the easy round. Team A, 7. Team B, 7. Team C, 5. Team D, 8. E, 8. Team F, 9. So Team e, uh, F, sorry, Team F is leading. Now let us go to the moderate round. Okay. For our moderate round, we have two points each question. Are you ready? Okay. Question number one for moderate round. A peninsula is a landform which is an extension of the big land. It is almost surrounded by water. Which of the following is not a peninsula? A. Bondok in Quezon. B. Zamboanga. C. Bolinao. D. Bicol. A peninsula is a landform which is an extension of the big land. It is almost surrounded by water. Which of the following is not a peninsula? A. Bundok in Quezon. B. Zamboanga. C. Bolinao. D. Bicol. Go. Among the different cities in the 
Philippines, which is the largest in terms of area. Okay, thank you for your clarification. According to Ms. Ayuriel, our Chief Master here, it has something to do with the land area, which is the largest in the area, a land area. Go! Words up. with abundant natural resources. Which can we find, where can we find the largest legal deposit? A. Bislig, Surigao del Sur. B. Nunuk Island, Surigao del Norte. C. Coronadal, South Cotabato. D. Alabel, Sarangani. Again, our country is blessed with abundant natural resources. Where can we find the largest legal deposit? A. Bislig, Surigao del Sur. B. Nunuk Island, Surigao del Norte. C. Coronadal, South Tabato. And D. Alabel, Sarangani. Go. Boards Okay, of course our answer is letter B. Remember grade 6 lesson and even grade 4. Question number 5 for the moderate round. Sok Sargent is located in central Mindanao and is officially designated as a region jewel. Which of the following provinces is part of the region? A. South Cotabato. B. Camiguin. C. Cagayan de Oro. D. Pocostela Valley. Sok Sargent is located in central Mindanao and is officially designated as Region 12. Which of the following provinces is part of the region? A. South Cotabato. B. Camiguin. C. Cagayan de Oro. And D. Compostela Valley. Go! Board up. Okay, the correct answer obviously is F, C, South Cotabato. Okay. And sorry, it's letter A, South Cotabato. All got, everybody got the correct answer. It's letter A. It's very obvious, it's there. South Cotabato, Cotabato, uh, Sultan Kutarat, Sarangani, and General Santo City. Next. Question number six. Region 11 is the Davao region. With the passage of Republic Act 8470 in 1998, the newest province carved out of Davao and became part of the region. Which province is it? A. Sarangani. B. South Cotabato. C. Compostela Valley. B. Caraga. Region 11 is the Davao region. With the passage of Republic Act 8470 in 1998, the newest province carved out of the bow and became part of the region. Which province is it? A. Sarangani. B. South Cotabato. C. Compostela Valley. D. Caraga. Go. Boards up. The correct answer is letter C, Compostela Valley. Only team C got it wrong. The rest got the correct answer. Number seven. Zamboanga Peninsula was previously known as Western Mindanao. 
which city remained to be part of the region while its province joined the autonomous region in Muslim Mindanao? A. Agadian B. Isabela C. Dipolo D. P. Zamboanga Peninsula was previously known as Western Mindanao. Which city remained to be part of the region while its province joined the autonomous region in Muslim Mindanao? A. Pagadian B. Isabela C. Dipolo D. Pili Go! The correct answer, of course, is letter B, Isabella. Only team C got the correct answer. With five, eight, nine. See you later. Okay. Thank you for coming, grade nine. Thank you for grade nine. Question number eight. Thus, as the Queen City of the South, Cebu was also the first Spanish settlement in the Philippines. It is also where we can find the oldest street, the oldest street in the Philippines, known as A. San Miguel, B. Santo Nino, C. Colon, D. Ligas. Thus, as the Queen City of the South, Cebu is also the first Spanish settlement in the Philippines. It is also where we can find the oldest street in the Philippines, known as A. San Miguel, B. Santo Nino, C. Colon, D. Ligazi. Go! Time's up. The correct answer, of course, is letter... Excuse me, TK, what is your answer? Letter D. Letter D. Okay, the correct answer is letter C, Colon. Only two teams got the correct answer. We have team D and F. It's Colon. It is also the shortest. Okay, the oldest and the shortest. Next, nine. For the year administrative region is found in the mountainous area in Luzon. The following provinces are part of Cordillera Administrative Region except A. Gao, B. Abra, C. Pinguer, D. Baguio. Cordillera Administrative Region is found in the mountainous area in Luzon. The following provinces are part of Cordillera Administrative Region except A. Ipugao, B. Abra, C. Pinguer, D. Baguio. Go! Boards up. The correct answer is letter D, Baguio. Only two groups got the correct answer. Team B and Team D. Team E. Okay. The answer is letter D, Baguio. Group. Okay, let us now have the last question for the moderate round. Since 1983 up to 2001, new towns and cities were created in the province of Negros Occidental. Which city was created under Republic Act 1928, authored by 5th Congressional Representative Apolinario Lozada? A. San Carlos B. Cabangalan C. Sipalay D. Timamaylan Since 1983 up to 2001, new towns and cities were created in the province of Negros Occidental. Which city was created on the Republic Act 1928, offered by the 5th Congressional Representative Apolinario Lozada? The correct answer is letter D, Himamayalan. So only 
Okay, so you got it wrong. I am already warning you. Please make your handwriting very simple. So only team A and team D got it wrong, the rest got it right. Again, again, the correct answer is Karaga. Team B is correct. Team C is correct. Team D, wrong. E, correct. F, wrong. Correct. Okay, correct. Number four. Please do not erase your answers until I have acknowledged it. For me, Zubik is uh, scoring. Okay? Number four. Streets are bodies of water that connect two larger bodies of water. Which of the following streets separate Eastern Visayas from Luzon? A. San Bernardino Street. B. San Juanico Street. C. Guimara Street. D. Panion Street. Streets are bodies of water that connect two larger bodies of water. Which of the following streets separate Eastern Visayas from Luzon? A. San Bernardino Street. B. San Juanico Street. C. Guimara Street. D. Panion Street. Go.
The correct answer is letter C, Abaca region of the Philippines. Team A, correct. B, wrong. C, wrong. B, correct. B, correct. And F, correct. Number eight. Provinces have capital cities which serve as the center of trade education, and even commerce. Which of the following is the capital city of Samar? A. Arbaloban B. Maasin C. Katarman D. Takloban Provinces have capital cities which serve as their center of trade, education, and commerce. Which of the following is the capital city of Samar? A. Arbaloban B. Maasin C. Katarman D. Takloban Go! I want to see a clear answer. Okay, the correct answer is A, Tat Paloma. Team A wrong, Team B correct. I'm sorry, Team B wrong, Team C wrong, D correct, E wrong, S correct. Next, number nine. Second to the last question for the difficult round. The island provinces of Mimaropa are marked by mountain ranges, valleys, and plains towards the coastal areas. Which of the following is the highest mountain in the region? A. Mount Araya B. Mount Manabao C. Mount Makiling D. Mount Halcon The island provinces of Mimaropa are marked by mountain ranges valleys and plains towards the coastal areas. Which of the following is the highest mountain in the region? I will not continue this in a moment. I could still hear a whisper from the audience. This is a civilized test. We are expecting civilized audience. Thank you. Letter A, Mount Araya, B, Mount Panahaw, C, Mount Makiling, D, Mount Halpon. Go! Boards up. Second to the last question. And the correct answer is letter D, Mount Halpon. Team D, you got the correct answer. And Team E, A, B, and C, wrong. Let us see the power, your power of sight. Identify this island. This is identification. You have to write the complete name of the island. I am asking for the island. What is the old name of Panay? Plus 10 to your card, Christmas card in December. Come here. Thank you. 
It's not an easy buy. But the correct answer is... You want to answer? The correct answer is an easy buy. P. Okay, we is... We eat, we have final results. Do we have a tie? Okay, so we will no longer be using our clinch around. So team A had a total of 29 points. Team B, 31. C, 27. D, 37. E, 36. And team F is 39 
in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Heavenly Father, this afternoon we thank you for the opportunity you have given to all of us. Thank you very much for the gift of wisdom and thank you for bringing us in this university not only to study and to learn but also to learn values in competition. Thank you so much Lord for giving us the strength of character, the opportunity to behave well and thank you so much for teaching us molding us and creating in us the destiny that you want us to be someday. In Jesus' name, everybody say Amen. St. John Baptist de la Salle. Leave Jesus in our hearts. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Thank you very much, high school and elementary students. Thank you for coming. Please go back to your respective classroom.